so good to be seen and it's even better to see you. What's going on guys? My name is Francisco Alvarez and welcome to the very first episode of Vegan Food Review. Now what exactly is Vegan Food Review? Well, this happens to be a brand new segment right here on my YouTube channel in which I'll try to eradicate the notion that vegan products are both unaffordable and unattainable. If you're a vegan, I hope this series widens the spectrum for you and if you're considering going vegan, well hey, you know what, I congratulate you on your open mind. Hopefully these videos will provide some sort of value. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any point in time, feel free to find me on Facebook, Twitter, as well as Instagram as at Real Friend Alvarez. I'll link it right here so you can find me easily. Anyway, for this pilot episode, it is my absolute pleasure to introduce the Jackfruit Company's Barbecue Jackfruit. Before we begin, Full disclosure, let's not get ahead of ourselves. The Jackfruit Company is in no way, shape, or form sponsoring this video, and this product was purchased by myself. The following review is completely voluntary and all opinions are my own. So, without further ado, let's get started. In order to be thorough, this uh, review will encompass the categories that appeal to me the most as a consumer, and in no particular order, they are presentation, availability, price point, taste, as well as nutrition. Now let's get started by checking out the packaging itself. I think the glossy finish and its peculiar shape definitely caught my attention. The color pattern reminds me of the wide selection of vegan foods and the pouch is a great way to store leftover jackfruit in case you want to save some for later. It is a generous portion so you should have no trouble whatsoever satisfying your hunger no matter how big it is. As far as availability is concerned, I purchased mine locally here in Puerto Rico with my friends at Fresh Mart, which some might say is our version of Whole Foods, if you will. From the research I've done, however, you can find the Jackfruit Company products at chain grocery stores all across the country. Go ahead and check, visit the jackfruitcompany.com for more details. I believe that one of the most attractive features about this jackfruit is its price point. To me, it's extremely affordable with costs ranging anywhere between $8 to $10 depending on where you get yours. One huge misconception about veganism is the belief that a vegan lifestyle is expensive and, in my opinion, I think the Jackfruit Company does an absolutely great job at debunking that myth. If you're still debating whether or not to invest in this product, I think the ample 10 ounces yields enough for two and a half servings or seconds. As with most vegans, nutrition is a major factor when making a decision to purchase food items just like this one. If you're anything like me, you are an avid Nutrition Facts label reader and probably take a little longer than most while grocery shopping. As a result, I'm displaying the Nutrition Facts label so that you can study it as well as all the ingredients involved. And now to my favorite part, the taste. Right off the bat, I noticed the texture of the jackfruit. If you're a pork-loving meat eater or a vegan that wishes to reminisce, this will definitely be a trip down memory lane. As far as flavor is concerned, the onions, the garlic, and the pineapple presence in the sauce ah, gel together perfectly for quite the taste. All in all, this jackfruit made a great impression on me and I'm sure you will be impressed as well. Not so fast, before I let you go, I want to share a quick recipe for some yummy comfort food using the company's jackfruit. In a small pan, spray some avocado oil and half the contents of the package over medium heat. Break down the jackfruit and after three minutes, sprinkle some vegan cheese, onions, your choice of beans, and a little avocado in between toasted raisin cinnamon bread. This is the official recipe for the Francisco Alvarez Sloppy Joe using the Jackfruit Company's barbecue jackfruit. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some jackfruit left in the fridge from last night's festivities, if you will, which will be devoured here in a minute. That's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of the Vegan Food Review. I'd love to hear from you. Do you think you'll be giving this jackfruit a try? Let me know in the comment section below. If you got some value out of this whatsoever, get that like button, a slap in the face, and don't forget to subscribe by hitting the bell on the way out. Thanks for tuning in, and I will definitely see you guys next week.